When it comes to attempting to balance your life, it's always tricky to decide how to divide the attention between your spouse and your kids. Don't even think about throwing the job in there. So many parents end up focusing on the children. And psychologist and early show contributor Dr. Jennifer Hartstein is here to discuss the consequences of that. Good to have you with us this morning. Good morning. So for a lot of people, it always feels like you should put your kids first. They're right. young. They need you. Uh, but making sacrifices for them may not be the best plan. Right. Well, what we have kind of to have become the norm in our world is this over-parenting. And a lot of people are becoming what we've come to call helicopter parenting, where we are so over-involved, so over-indulgent, running interference. And what research has recently found is that we are then raising very dependent, very needy, neurotic kids who, when it comes time to go to college, they really can't function because they don't know how to do it without their parents navigating the road for they them. They don't know how to take care of themselves. So no. that's one consequence. The right. other consequence to this is that when you're focusing all your attention on your children, your relationship with your partner can really fall by the wayside. Absolutely, and you mentioned work. So if we are splitting our attention between work and our children, we really aren't paying attention to the relationship that got us the children in the first place. So the fact is, we find that women in those situations are actually getting divorced and separated more, especially women with high-powered jobs with MBAs, more than people with just BAs they're getting divorced, and women who are lawyers and doctors get divorced and separated more than their male counterparts. So finding a way to navigate that road and really figure out where to put your attention much harder. So then let's start out by figuring where we should put the the children in the, I guess if we're lining up priorities, mm -hmm. you feel bad giving things a number, but that's the way to do it. So where should kids fall in that line? They should probably be two or three, as hard as it is to say that out loud, but the truth is you need to pay attention to yourself and you need, need to pay attention to your relationship. Anything lower than four, five, or six on that list, you're not gonna get to, and oftentimes that's where our marriage or our relationships go. So we also need to move that up as a priority. Mm -hmm. So if you are in a relationship where both of you work and you have children, how do you bring your relationship back to the forefront? and make it a priority? Well, there's a couple things we want to think about. So first off, you really want to figure out how to have a date night. Find time just for the two of you. Second to that, you want to talk about things not related to your kids. Talk about each other. What happened in your day? What happened in my day? Make that priority and figure out how to share the responsibilities. Oftentimes, that helicopter parent is doing everything mm -hmm. and it's leaving the other person out, so they back out. So figure out how to balance it. What if you're a single parent? really important question. There's so many single parents out there and the guilt they feel about taking the time for themselves prevents them from doing it. The truth is you are a better parent if you take care of yourself and you're modeling that behavior for your kid. So it's so important to find the time to be with friends, go to the gym, do things for you, and you're going to be better and more effective with your children. Yeah, because you're in a better mood. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to your children, I mean, they're still, they're still a priority, yes. even if maybe we're not making them number one because mm -hmm. you do have to take care of you. How do you sort of teach them and care for them at the same time so they don't end up as these needy, neurotic kids we're seeing now who can't handle a freshman right. year off by themselves. Right. Well, you want to figure out how to recognize your own feelings and model for them what appropriate behavior is. So you want to be show them that taking time for yourself is okay, recognize your feelings about that, stand your ground if they start to tantrum that they need more of your time, really stand your ground on that, and demonstrate positive ways of expression, positive behaviors, how to interact appropriately. And it's important to let them fail a little bit too. Yes, let them fail. Let them figure out how to pick themselves up. If they can do that, they're going to learn that they can get through it, that they can manage those emotions just fine. You can't win everything all the you time. You can't win everything all the time. All right. Jen, thanks as always. Thanks.